You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. Mizuki, the time limit with Insomnium is six minutes. Damn it. Damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. Something happened six years ago that I don't know about. What was it? Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Tama, what do you do while I sleep? I think about you. Managing your health, that sort of thing. No! I'm not okay! My heart feels like a jackhammer, like it's gonna burst out of my chest any second! Actually, I got fired yesterday. I didn't feel like doing anything after I woke up this morning. I came here so I could drink my problems away. But you were drinking non-alcoholic beer. I can still get drunk off of them, okay? What job did you get fired from? I was a bank. Clerk. What were you really? I don't like talking about it, but I was a janitor. I think that is a noble job. You're so right! But unfortunately, my job was taken from me, and I have zero motivation to do anything now. Hard work just seems so pointless. I dislike people who don't work hard. Alright, I'm hitting up the employment office tomorrow! This guy has a rather one-track mind. He doesn't seem all that bad, though. Of course this isn't a joke. Izuna's dance purified my heart. There was so much darkness building inside me, but she cleared it all away. It felt like I went straight to heaven. I've always wanted to be a pilot since I was little. It was my dream to fly through the sky. Izuna made that dream come true for me. Seeing her dance, it was like my soul pierced the heavens and flew into the stars. So, I've decided. I'm gonna marry her! Won't you marry me, Kizuna? No, thank you. Oh. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. No, thank you. I'll pretend I didn't hear that either. No, thank you. Anyway, I won't give up. You'll come around eventually, Kizuna. My motto is, if at first you don't succeed, try and fail again! I think you mean try, try again. Now, we haven't obtained much useful information. There's no point in staying here for too long. Yeah, let's go somewhere else.
Iris, how are you feeling? Still upset about last night? I'm okay. I recover pretty quick from these things. See? I'm bouncing right back! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy bunny! Ryuki, would you mind hitting her with a German suplex? Later. By the way, you're... That's Mame. She's one of my best friends. Nice to meet you. My name is Amame Doi. I'm a third year at Sekiba High, and I'm in the same dance club as Iris. I'm a super hyper cutie miracle beauty. Ryuki, I think we should leave. Uh, hold on. So you're the one I heard about. Mizuki and Kizuna told me about you earlier. Huh. You just pictured me in a leotard, didn't you? Uh, no. Oh, it's a pervert! Somebody call the police! I am the police. Oh, come to think of it, you were on the quiz show last night, weren't you? Your name started with an R, I think. Yeah. Mr. Riro 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 Tower, was it? It's Ryuki! I see. Mr. Ryuki Rirotaro. This is an all-girls school, so obviously there are only female students. So, it's not like I don't understand why you'd want to stroke that chair, but... I do not! turned into a skeleton! It's an x-ray! Anyway, the girl does have some nice femurs. I'd love to get inside those for a taste of the marrow. What is wrong with you? Don't you know today is February 11th? National Foundation Day! Oh, right. Then why are you at school? I put this? I just felt... compelled. I can only wear this uniform and attend this school for about another month or so. So I invited Mame, and we just kind of ended up here. Iris and Amame are third years. They'll be graduating soon. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. I boiled a potato and my socks in a sack. Mr. Ryuki, are you okay? Hmm? Mizuki didn't tell you? She did, but I want to double check, just in case. The agency I belong to, Lemniscate, received a request for me to appear. They wanted me and one more person to participate as a pair. But we couldn't find anyone with an opening in their schedule. And that's why Mizuki ended up going instead. Iris is leering at an 18-year-old. I was not leering. Oh. 
Iris is just sitting on a chair. I have no further commentary. No, you're trying too hard. Well, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it. It did feel like some sort of paranormal phenomenon, though. Paranormal? Like I mentioned last night, maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that split the body in two. Speaking of which, there are rumors that people who watched that video and disappeared could have also been swallowed into another dimension. You could say I'm a part-timer. It's just me and my mom back home, so money's tight. I don't have time to go to college or a specialty school. But mommy is so smart! She always has the best grades, even though she doesn't go to class much. I've been busy with my part-time job and dance practice. Where do you work? I work as a mermaid at a gaudy maid cafe called Sunfish Pocket. Mermaids are what they call the maids that work there. They wear these cute mermaid outfits as they serve the customers? I know because I used to work at Sunfish Pocket a long time ago. Mommy works there at night after dance practice. Don't tell anyone, but until about 11. Even when you were 17? Yes, ever since I was 16. That's a violation of Article 61 of the Labor Standards Act. Though, it would be the employer who would be penalized. I lied to the manager about my age. So according to my profile, I'm 20 years old right now. That's a bit... I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please don't arrest me! My family's poor, so I need to keep working! That QR code video... A similar video went viral about half a year ago. The Bats 490 video. Supposedly people who saw it suddenly vanished. Bats 490. Kizuna mentioned the same thing. So, they say those who went missing were taken into another dimension. Yes. So did I. But you two haven't disappeared. That's because we haven't decoded it. There's a code hidden inside BATS 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. You have to go there to get taken into another dimension. And the people who decrypted the code all said the same thing before vanishing. I've learned the secret of the world. But no one knows what that secret is. I know about the incident. I was watching the live stream of that quiz show. I don't think there's anyone from our generation that doesn't know who he is. He's famous for having a sharp tongue. He used to write a bunch of completely lame articles and critiques online. He used to start up stupid internet drama crap on Twitter, too. Mommy has a pretty sharp tongue herself. His main job was being the CEO of Music Food. I guess that's like the president of the company? I think I read an article online that said he started the business when he was 22. But his history before then is shrouded in mystery. And no one knows anything about his childhood, right? Yeah. He was a pretty mysterious figure. Genny, I told you to wait for me at the gate, didn't I? Yeah, but I got here a bit early. His name is Gen Ishiagane. He's the owner of the fusion restaurant Brahman in Golden Yokocho. Though, I'm sure you already know- Yeah, I've been there many times. But why is Gen here? Ah, if it isn't Mr. Ryuki, 
Are you here to investigate that case by any chance? Yes. I was talking to... I also watched the quiz show last night. Several people I know were on it. Oh, Mr. Teacher, I'll do anything to get an A. First off, that's inappropriate. Second, it could be a female teacher. I can get into that too. Oh, are you asking because I'm wearing this mask? It was fine. The security for this school is practically non-existent. There are tons of places on the grounds without any fences or security cameras. So you didn't walk in through the front gate? I couldn't have dressed like this. A guard would have stopped me. I drove here to pick up Amame and Iris. I need them to help out at work tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, Genny. Something came up. Uh, oh, I see. I'm free, though. I can still help. That'd be great. You two are close with Gen, huh? Yeah. We're just a big old happy threesome. That was a weird way to phrase it. Amame visited Brahmin a lot, even back when it was in Yotsuya. Once it moved to Golden Yokocho, I took Iris there. You've been to Brahmin too, Mr. Ryuki? Of course. I've been there several times. Mr. Date took me there. Mr. Date? So you must know Mr. Date too, Kenny. I've known him for a long time. We're so close, we've seen each other's buttholes. Wow, what a small world. Is she really going to ignore the butt part? You're more than welcome to visit anytime. Yenny's cooking is amazing. Everything he makes is so good. My tongue could fall. Personally, I think his place and Matsushita Diner are competing for the number one spot. Come on now, don't compare my restaurant with a place like that. The cooking there was superb when Takiro was still the man behind the chef's knife, but now it's his son Ota running things. He doesn't know the first thing about cooking. His dishes are missing the most important condiment. Well, I think we got enough info. Ryuki, wanna get going? Sounds good. Wait, you're the director of that quiz show, Chimpe? You got a problem with that? No, but... I told you, he got out. He's making an honest living as a civilian these days. Ain't that right? That's right, boss. Stop calling me that. You're not a member of the gang anymore. Maybe MoMA hung them up. There are a lot of lanterns lined up here. Wait, who's hung? Who? Huh? MoMA? MoMA's hung, huh? That's not what I said. A dragon with a gold ball. Kind of like us, Ryuki. Hmm. You're not made of gold, though. Oh. 
I hacked into it. There are a ton of videos of salmon laying eggs in there. I don't think that's a problem. We all have our own interests. Do re me so far. Help! I've been flattened! Did you just hear something? No, nothing. Oh, just so you know, that thing's fake. It's not a real tiger. An ashtray in this day and age? How anachronistic is this place? It's like a Yakuza done in here. That's exactly what it is. I'm pissed about the case, too. That co-appearance was like a dream come true. The whole show was ruined. I'd love to get my hands on the bastard responsible. A dream come true? The boss and Tessa got to... Shut it! Anyway, I'd love to help you with your investigation and all. But unfortunately, I don't have any info that might be useful. I don't know what to tell you. Did you see any suspicious people hanging around the studio, for example? Suspicious people? Hmm. I guess the only one who comes to mind is Kameji. Kameji? You mean... Yeah, Andy's Kameji, the host. Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. I'm not talking about our group, of course. It's just something I heard at a meeting with the street bosses. Word is, he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Though, that might not have anything to do with last night. Ask Chimpei about that. He knows all about it. Yeah, I didn't take his finger or anything. We're not doing any of that outdated cutting off your finger deal. After all, the Kumakuras are a gang with morals. Sounds like an oxymoron. Like a vegan zombie. My girl is a baby on the way right now. So we decided to get married, but her parents wouldn't approve of it. Said they wouldn't let me have their daughter unless I got out of the business. I agonized over the decision. So much that I could only eat two slices of pizza instead of the usual three. But a man has to do what a man has to do, right? So I made up my mind to talk to the boss about it. But before I could, you and MoMA listened to Iris what, what I didn't have any ulterior motives so don't get it twisted I came to say thanks to the boss for yesterday I was thinking of going to Akiba and this place is on the way why Akiba well um, 
I need to stop by a maid cafe. Maid cafe? Yeah, it's called Sunfish Pocket. My girlfriend works there. I actually used to attend a vocational school to learn about film. I wanted to be a porn director. I used the connections I got there to reach out to a production company for online shows, and I was promoted to director right away. Supposedly, the last director ran away, so they really needed me to take his place. We didn't have enough people. The quiz show needed three teams of two to answer questions. We tried hard, but couldn't get together that last team. I had no choice but to participate myself, so I invited the boss to go with me. And Loma agreed to participate? Well, you know, it was a request from one of my precious underlings, after all. I convinced him by saying Tessa would be there, too. Then he agreed right away. Sorry, but I haven't found anything that might be a lead. What about the rest of the staff? They'll probably tell you the same thing. The detectives from HQ have already questioned the rest of the staff. Your report is uploaded on the database. Zero clues. There isn't any information that could help us at all. Thing about the others. I already turned in the list of contestants to the cops. Why don't you try hitting them up one by one? The other detectives already took care of that a while back. No clues there either. There haven't been any reports of suspicious individuals. Kameji has connections with the Yakuza? Could it be true? Let's figure that out later. You need to gather intel for now. Got it. Then let's go somewhere else. Shoma, my little boy, he's in elementary school. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes, Death Tub. And I'm thinking, Death Tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Then Shoma saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, what's so funny? That's when I realized, when you see Death Tub in the mirror, God of Energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Another story about Shoma. One day I got a call from school and a rather heavy set vice principal told me. Your Shoma called me a pig of all things! I apologized, then gave Shoma a talking to. Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, Okay, I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore. But it's okay if I call a pig vice principal, right? I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry, can I go play with my friends now, vice principal? 
out of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! Um, are you finished? Well, you're the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what happened. Yes. Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You prefer someplace quieter, right? Wait, the Ferris wheel? Well, why not? Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? This is not what I had in mind. <laughs> Look, the ants are like people. It's the other way around. Wait, the other way around doesn't sound right either. Worried about relationships? Mm. Worried about health? Mm -hmm. Worried about work? Mm -hmm. Worried about school? Mm -hmm. Worried about money? Mm. You don't really have worries, do you? Ah, are you bored? Not so. So I guess that means you're busy? But you still came here. Let's see... Uh... What's wrong with you? Get back to your station and do your job! Once you're done, come back so you can help me pass the time. I'll be waiting! Something happened six years ago that I don't know about. What was it? Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Kizuna's dance purified my heart. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy bunny! That co-appearance was like a dream come true. God of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! You missed me so much. I can see it in your face. Did you record that TV show for me last night like I asked? Yes, and I've already processed it so the girls appear naked.
I love Ferris wheels. I like anything that continuously spins around, actually. Plane propellers, washing machines, the beds at love hotels. There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. How do you know that? Just like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. We rotate around the same places over and over. All the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. A boy is just like me, you know? Shoma? You mentioned him on stage earlier. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel, too. He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but he's still a kid inside. With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside, too. <laughs> you got a point there. You're probably right. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. His mother hasn't been around for about three years now. Was it a divorce? Yeah. She got sick of me and left the house. Does this have to do with the Yakuza by any chance? <laughs> what? Where in the world did that come from? Just something I heard. That you have gang connections. That's complete nonsense. I'm just an ordinary comedian. Well, even if it was true, he wouldn't just admit it. Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh, uh, I wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. You know I'm a comedian now. But when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and ended up winning first place many times. Komeiji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. Adored wherever I went, everyone buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. And after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. Ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. It was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. I'm sorry, I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then, that body suddenly appeared. Did you know Jin, the victim? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. 
If I had to guess, the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him and did that. Ah, does it? A little. A lot is more like it. Komeiji's blood alcohol level is 0.12%, the early stages of inebriation. I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. Sorry I couldn't help, Mr. Ryuki. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. You're going back to Abyss? Yeah. I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Then, why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. The ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know.
Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. But six years ago, he also. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but remember what Mr. Date and Iris said? For some reason, just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's with the body in two. Don't tell me you believe that. No, just... For some reason, it's stuck in my head. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video in that QR code link. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. Hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the internet? I looked it up. Here it is. idea what it's supposed to mean. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. Same as a QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube, then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Ryuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in Bats 490. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya! 
Shoma? Isn't that... Andy's Komeji's. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? What is that on top? Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device? It's a CRT TV. But do you think it can pick up digital broadcasts? It could, with a dedicated tuner. Is this a poem written by Kameji? It says, It's okay to fall off the horse. You're a saddle after all. <laughs> Wait, this was supposed to be touching? more often than you breathe. A picture of Ame no Uzume, a goddess from Japanese mythology. Supposedly, she is the goddess of entertainment and laughter. It's old. Looks like a memento for the Quiz King. Add a rooster. It's a character. Where 
What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki? She's actually the one who told me about you. Just to confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji. And his real name is Yoneharu Enda, is that right? You know about the video called Bats490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location, am I right? He's completely ignoring you. Maybe because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. Chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. What kind of metaphor is that? You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. Um, so what you mean is, he probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. It's no use talking to him. You'll have to find the key to his chastity belt first. Ding! Yes, Shoma! What is your answer? Why don't you hit your own head with the hammer toy? Wow! What a jolly guy he is! I'm gonna tell him everything I know now! I don't think that's going to happen. Why don't you smack Shoma on the head with the folding fan? I don't think he'd ever speak to me. Do you want to watch TV together? God, please help. You can help yourself. Shoma, want to play Lucky Laugh together? Mr. Kameji used to be amazing. Oh, but he still is, of course. That robot is so cool! Why don't you try going under the Kotatsu? He'd probably run away. It's a closet. I wonder... I don't think Shoma will answer if I ask if I can open Then why don't you use the thing you always use? What is that? It looks like a robot. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. A homemade robot, huh? Hey, Shoma. Would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Huh? How do you know about that? Oh, well, uh... Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? That's right. Okay then. Just for a bit, okay? You made that? Yeah. I call it Robata. All by yourself? Uh huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. 
fine-tuning it is really hard. That's really amazing! I can't believe a grade schooler made a robot all by himself. A genius like you must be one in a hundred million! No, no. I'm not that special. Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? Uh, no. Of course not. Even though she's cute? That Ugo? She's not cute at all. His temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Yeah, I could tell. One of the parts for Robota. The robot running around. I want to upgrade it. I'm trying to make it so it can carry my weight. I put them on so I can concentrate better. But you're not listening to music, are you? I only turn on the noise cancelling. Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. Sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. Why not? Well, because... Why does it matter? Now, I think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. I solved it. Hmm? The BATS 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? I have to go soon. So I'll tell you the short version. That's fine. Please just tell me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. I heard about it last night on the news. Truly unprecedented. What a mysterious case. I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. He hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. Ryuki, would you drink that fluid inside the test tube? Absolutely not. Why not? You might develop superpowers. But what if I turned into a giant green muscular freak? That would be awesome. Excuse me, what is that statue? Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It will take a while to explain, so...
Looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. I actually like grotesque things. Yeah, I know. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Are you familiar with genome editing? Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call PURGE. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat, for example, severe congenital heart diseases, are now curable. But that's not all. In theory, using Purge, even immortality is achievable. Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However, it can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed, the body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years it will soon become a reality. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? Jun's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. Good for you. Your dream came true. I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Chikara got divorced six years ago. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. That's right. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. We have nothing in common. Ah, it was mentioned on the news. But the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. 
Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps someone just made it up. Ryuki, don't you think something is off about Jikara? You think so? You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads! Huh. His temperature is abnormally high. It Maybe he has the flu. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Wink sink. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Thank you. 